Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to completely produce, mix and master a quick hip hop beat in Cubase. Uh, I mean, we're talking complete. We're going to do it from scratch right now. I haven't planned anything, so we're going to go through sounds. We're going to choose uh, effects and things like that. But obviously I am working with my standard template that I, I use as a good starting point. So my tools of the trade for this are uh, SoftTube Console 1. Uh, I love working with this thing because it it's really quick with uh, you know compression tape like saturation and EQ um, I have my MacBook Pro running Cubase and on this side anytime you see me hit the phone it's a Google Pixel Android phone with the touch Star app so anytime that I'm using that it's just to control the effects sends on Cubase so I like doing it through here because it, it gives me uh, access to eight of them really quickly and here I have my Roland very basic controller so let's start shall we uh, let's just get a tempo going maybe a little quicker okay that's cool so now let's just start with a beat I'm going to duplicate that kick and uh, double it up with something else. So let's see where we're at. I use this one. So we're just going to double it with this one. So we're going to take that track and transpose it. Just check that out. Yeah, that, that's nice and fat. Okay, so we're not really mixing right now. Let's just save our work. And let's just go with the piano. Just gonna mess around with this for a little bit.
a little bit of mixing on that. So I just put a little bit of reverb on that. A little bit of EQ to bring the highs out the mid for now. for now. I'm just tweaking that sound. Obviously in the mix, sometimes I like to kind of mix as I go along. Vegetated synth kind of oh sorry.
Let's put that in there. That's sounding pretty good so far, so we're going to start mixing. Actually, let's just do a basic arrangement. So, like I said, we're doing very generic things here. I can already tell you it will probably sound cool if we uh, split the bass, add that there. Let's see what this sounds like for an intro. <laughs> So I'm doing a very quick basic arrangement. So intro, full chorus stuff there. This will be one verse. That's another verse and a third break with a double chorus at the end. Uh, so let's do something different for the second, before the second chorus. Let's Maybe take away the drums, a couple bars. Okay, and then let's do a bridge. So the bridge area, let's just kill the drums completely here. And maybe just add the clap there. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, that's good enough. There we go, we got our arrangement. So now what we're gonna do is start mixing it quickly. So we're gonna go, you know, the chorus has the most going on. So let's go from there, loop that section, and let's start from there. I want to watch my uh, my levels. I always do that. Make sure that I have enough headroom. So I'm going to play with this. Crank that up. Okay. So I'm just cranking the overall volume, but I'm lowering that kick quite a bit. Yeah, 
this kick needs a little bit of compression. check the second kick because I'm going to blend those two together that's super loud okay, so that's that actually sounds pretty good let me just put it here compression on there just blend those together And on the first one, let's take the first one. Just might put a little bit of reverb on there. Let's put a bit of room. Yeah, just a hair of room reverb sounds pretty good on that. And let's go with the snare. bit of plate on that. Actually, you know what? No plate. Let's get that more aggressive sound. That sounds good. Clap. More plate. That's so bright. Just like this. Taking the character off on Soft Console 1, it just kind of brings down the mids are in a little bit. Let's go with bass. Very slow attack and slow release. I like that frequency there because it's not really interfering with the kick too much. So now what I like to do is just put a little bit of chorus to even get it more out of the way from the kick. Too much. That sounds alright. And now let's just work on the piano by itself a little bit. Really 
compressed sound for the piano. Just uh, mixing the the piano with the pad. You have to see how things play out together. Sometimes it sounds good on its own, but you have to really hear it together. So let's hear that. So that's sounding better. See. It? I boosted those high mid frequencies so that it's in a different space from the piano. And let's see what else we can do to just the pad. I have that tape delay going on. And this is the tape delay channel. I just rolled off more of the highs. Let's go back to the pad. And uh, actually, let's put a huge hall on there. There, it just gives it a little something in the back. And here's my huge hall return. I want to really cut out the lows on this. I don't want anything to mess with anything else. So let's see where we're at now. snare I want to really I want the low end I want it to hit a little harder delay and haul on that synth and let's see what else we got going on
You'll see how wide that is, just because it's hard left, but the effect is coming out of the right speaker. And then I have the cello and violin, which I usually leave panned hard left and right. So we're going to bring in the violin, because that's going to add a little something to that. <laughs> just needs a nice hall. Just a tiny bit of compression. EQ is fine on it. I like it like that. And then we have the cello. So a little bit of hall, just a little bit of hall on the cello. So let's just, now that things are sounding pretty decent, let's go one by one and see where we're at. Now, one thing we should know that um, the drums are going through to a drum group. I have this automatically done. But the drum group, the drums are going to this drum, drum group here, and then it's going through an effects sense, which is being squashed. So without the squash effect, that's the drums without the squash effect in it. And then we just mix in. See what a difference that is? It's just, and you can see, uh, So let's go back to this. is pretty much done so now what I do is uh, let's just you know I do a lot of film and TV work so the most important thing for that kind of stuff is you have to have a definitive ending so let's just put a crash right at the end well I guess we didn't check the level on that crash that is way loud let's let's get that crash Crash a little bit. That's, all right. That's a good level for the crash. So now we're going to go and this is our master fader, which I've always kept at zero because I'm basically going to master at the same time. Yes, I'm that lazy. Well, it's not laziness. What it is is you need to be quick. Why did this go here? Set the fader at zero. And we're going to click it there and just do a quick fade out. And that's good. So now what we're going to do is 
Now, if this song had vocals and a lot more going on, we'd have to be, you know, we're going to probably ride the fader on the drum group channel to bring it louder in the chorus, less in the in other parts, like whatever you need. But for this kind of work, what we just did is just basic instrumental. I'm pretty happy with how things sound. But, you know, if we want to spend a lot more time, yes, we could go back and automate uh, different sounds so that they stand out more in certain areas. Uh, but for like I said, for right now, it sounds pretty good. So I'm just going to show you the last step for a quick mastering. Now, the key is you have to have a decent mix. I think we have a pretty decent mix going. And once you have that, we're just going to go to uh, this is the master channel and we're going to pull up this plugin that I use it's it's just very convenient like I said right now I only have the peak limiter on here but we're going to turn on the compressor and compress just a few dBs just a couple I'm just going to lower it that's too much Yeah, just a little bit of compression. And now we're going to get the clipper. We're just going to play with the drive and the clipper and peak limiter and get it to a, a louder level without it to sounding like horrible, without too much distortion. So let's see what we can do. Without and with, so let's, let's just play from the top now. Let's see where we're at with that. kind of feel like the piano needs a little something else. Maybe we should put a little delay on that piano. Let's just solo it. And, and this is it. with mixing, you know, you, you hear it and then suddenly you get a different idea. so I like that so what I did there is I sent the piano to a mono delay that is panned hard right so can you hear that so I'm, I'm just gonna take the hall off and the delay off and just just hear it with a delay so that's with nothing And now with the hall. And what I actually want to do is on the mono delay, I want to put some reverb on that. So let's hear it. I'm not sure what I did there.
the bass a little. arpeggio synth is a little bit much so I'm just going to tame that down a little bit okay so let's just play it through until the first chorus and see how that sounds synth is bugging me. We're going to go through a different sound. Let me just... too much effect on that that's for sure Let's see how that sounds I brought the pan in, not fully left. The effects are all still the same. I just, I brought it in a little bit, like three quarters of the way. I, I kind of like the way that sounds. So let's just hear that in the mix. Just have to put a crash on there. Okay. And that's it, guys. Let's just hear a little bit and uh, call it a, a day.
basically it, guys. You see, there's a basic arrangement, but you know, you can spend more time. You can, let's say, cut out the base on the beginning of verse two, cut out the pads, or just start the pad, you know. <laughs> So that's it guys. So what did that take? Uh, we we did that completely in 45 minutes. I think that's pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, I, tr I hope that I explained myself, you know, well enough as, as we went along. But in future tutorials, I won't focus as much as on speed, but I'll, I'll explain each step a little bit better. And I apologize about the noise outside the uh, someone is cleaning their snow yeah there's a ton of snow here in toronto so that's it um be sure to subscribe and i'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials in cubase using console one and various plugins so uh till next time